Okay, I want to start with the rationale for packages where we left, <clears throat> that's where we left off. I will say that um, very interested in what the rationale is. Make sure I'm recording. Oh, there's a red dot up here. As stated earlier, the goal of LFS is to build a complete and usable foundation level system. This includes all packages needed to replicate itself while providing a relatively minimal base from which to customize a more complete system based on the choices of the user. This does not mean that LFS is the smallest system possible. Several important packages are included that are not strictly required. The list below, the lists below, document the rationale for each package in the book. ACL. This package contains utilities to administer access control lists which are used to define more fine-grained discretionary access rights for files and directories. ATTR. This package contains programs for administering extended attributes on file system objects. AutoConf. This package contains programs for producing shell scripts that can automatically configure source code from a developer's template. It is often needed to rebuild a package after updates to the build procedures. Oh, AutoConf stands for automatically configure. ATTR would stand for attributes. ACL would be access control list. Automake. This package contains programs for generating make files from a template. It is often needed to rebuild a package after updates to the build pr procedures. Bash. This package satisfies an LSB core requirement to provide a born shell interface to the system. It was chosen over other shell packages because of its common usage and extensive capabilities beyond basic shell functions. BC, this package provides an arbitrary precision numeric processing language. It satisfies a requirement needing when building the Linux kernel. Bin utils. This package contains a linker, an assembler, and other tools for handling object files. The programs in this package are needed to compile most of the packages in an LFS system and beyond. Bison. This package contains the GNU version of YACC, yet another compiler compiler, needed to build several other LFS programs. Interesting. BZIP2. This package contains programs for compressing and decompressing files. It is required to decompress many LFS packages. Check. This package contains a test harness for other programs. Core Utils. This package contains a number of essential programs for viewing and manipulating files and directories. These programs are needed for com command line file management and are necessary for the installation procedures of every package in LFS. <laughs> Deja New, which is a play, of course, on the word deja vu. This package contains a framework for testing other programs. Diff 
utils. This package contains programs that show the differences between files or directories. These programs can be used to create patch patches and are also used in many packages build procedures. E2FS Progs. This package contains the utilities for handling the ext2, ext3, and ext4 file systems. These are the most common and thoroughly tested file systems that Linux supports. UDEV. This package is a device manager. It dynamically controls the ownership, permissions, names, and symb symbolic links of devices in the slash dev directory as devices are added or removed from the system. XPAT. This package contains a relatively small XML parsing library. It is required by the XML parser Perl module. Expect. Hmm. So what would you expect expect to be? This package contains a program for carrying out scripted dialogues with other interactive programs. It is commonly used for testing other packages. File. This package contains utility for determining the type of a given file or files. A few packages need it in their build scripts. Find Utils. This package contains programs to find files in a file system. It is used in many packages build scripts. Flex. This package contains utility for generating programs that recognize patterns in text. It is the GNU version of the Lex, Lexical Analyzer, program. It is required to build several LFS packages. Gawk. This package contains programs for manipulating text files. It is the GNU version of Awk, Aho, Weinberg, Kernigan. It is used in many other packages build scripts. Whatever that means. GCC. This package is the GNU compiler collection. Collection. It contains the C and C++ compilers as well as several others not built by LFS. GDBM. This package contains the GNU Database Manager Library. It is used by one other LFS package, MANDB. GetText. This package contains utilities and libraries for internalization and localization of numerous packages. glibc. This package contains the main C library. Linux programs will not run without it. GMP. This package contains math libraries that provide useful functions for arbitrary precision arithmetic. It is required to build GCC. GPerf. This package contains a program that generates a perfect hash function from a key set. It is required for UDEV. GREP. This package contains programs for searching through files. These programs are used by most packages build scripts. GROF. This package contains programs for or graph. Uh, contains programs for processing and formatting text. One important function of these programs is to format man pages. Grub. This package is the Grand Unified Bootloader. It is one of several bootloaders available, but is the most flexible. Gzip. 
This package contains programs for compressing and decompressing files. It is needed to decompress many packages in LFS and beyond. LANA-ETC. This package provides data for network services and protocols. It is needed to enable proper networking capabilities. LNET Utils. This package contains programs for basic network administration. What is that? LNTL tool? This package contains tools for extracting translatable strings from st source files. Uh, LPROUT2. This package contains programs for basic and advanced, uh, that could be I, IPv4 and IPv6 networking. It was chosen over the other common network tools packages. Net tools for its IPv6 capabilities. So that's IP route 2. I should have realized that. And then the INTL tool is probably international tool. And this is probably INET utils. KBD. This package contains key table files, keyboard utilities for non US keyboards and a number of console fonts. KMod. This package contains programs needed to administer Linux kernel modules. Oh, KMod, kernel modules, right? Less. This package contains a very nice text file viewer that allows scrolling up or down when viewing a file. It is also used by ManDB for viewing man pages. Libcap. This package implements the user space interfaces to the POSIX 1003.1e capabilities available in Linux kernels. See, they use the letter L there. Um, okay. Libelf. The ELF utilities project provides libraries and to tools for ELF files and dwarf data. Well, I didn't know there were elves and dwarves in this. Most utilities in this package are available in other packages, but the library is needed to build the Linux kernel using the default and most efficient configuration. libffi this package implements a portable, high-level programming interface to various calling conventions. Some programs may not know at the time of compilation what arguments are to be passed to a function. For instance, an interpreter may be told at runtime about the number and types of arguments used to call a given function. LIBFFI can be used in such programs to provide a bridge from the interpreter program to compiled code. LibPipeline. The LibPipeline package contains a library for manipulating pipelines of subprocesses in a flexible and convenient way. It is required by the MANDB package. LibTool. This package contains the GNU generic library support script. It wraps the complexity of using shared libraries in a consistent portable interface. It is needed by the test suites in other LFS packages. Linux kernel. This package is the operating system. It is the Linux in the GNU Linux environment. M4. This package contains a general text macro processor useful as a build tool for other programs. Make. This package contains a program for directing the building of packages.
It is required by almost every package in LFS. MANDB. This package contains programs for finding and viewing MAN pages. It was chosen instead of the MAN package due to superior internalization capabilities. It supplies the MAN program. MAN pages. This package contains the actual contents of the basic Linux MAN pages. Mason. M-E-S-O-N. This package provides a software tool for automating and building software. The main goal of Mason is to minimize the amount of time that software developers need to spend configuring their build system. It is required to build System D as well as many BLFS packages. MPC. This package contains functions for the arithmetic of complex numbers. That's cool, MPC. It is required by GCC. So MPC is for complex numbers. MPFR. This package contains functions for multiple precision arithmetic. It is required by GCC. So let's see. Maybe MPC is multi-precision complex numbers. And I don't know what the FR stands for here. Oh, multi-precision function, maybe R for arithmetic. <laughs> um, I don't know. Ninja, it's required by GCC. Ninja, this package contains a small build system with a focus on speed. It is designed to have its input files generated by a higher level build system and to run builds as fast as possible. This package is required by Mason, M-E-S-O-N. N curses. This package contains libraries for terminal independent handling of character screens. It is often used to provide cursor control for a menuing system. It is needed by a number of packages in LFS. Open SSL. This package provides management tools and libraries relating to cryptography. These are useful for providing cryptographic functions to other packages, including the Linux kernel. <clears throat> Patch. This package contains a program for modifying or creating files by applying a patch file typically created by the DIFF program, diff program. It is needed by the build procedure for several LFS packages. Perl. This package is an interpreter for the runtime language Perl. It is needed for the installation and test suites of several LFS packages. PKG-config. This package provides a program that returns metadata about an installed library or package. PROCPS-NG. This package contains programs for monitoring processes. These programs are useful for system administration and are also used by the LFS boot scripts. PSMISC. This package contains programs for displaying information about running processes. These programs are useful for system administration. <laughs> Python 3. Obviously, this package provides an interpreted language that has a design philosophy that emphasizes code readability. Uh, Python 3 is a pretty basic language. Python is, and 3 I think is the current one. Um, Readline. This package is a set of libraries that offers command line editing and history capabilities. <clears throat> it is used by Bash. Well, Python 3 is at least recent. 
read line is a uh, command line editing and history capabilities used by bash said this package allows editing of text without opening it in a text editor it is also needed by most lfs packages configure scripts shadow this package contains programs for handling passwords in a secure way. SYSKLOGD. This package contains oh syslogd. This package contains programs for logging system messages, such as those given by the kernel or daemon processes when unusual events occur. SysVinit. This package provides the init program, which is the parent of all other processes on the Linux system. Interesting. So SysVinit is the parent of all other processes on the Linux system. Tar. This package provides archiving and extraction capabilities of virtually all packages used in LFS. TCL. This package contains the tool command language used in many test suites in LFS packages. TEX info, text info. This package contains programs for reading writing, and converting info pages. It is used in the installation procedures of many LFS packages. Util-Linux. This package contains miscellaneous utility programs. Among them are utilities for handling file systems, consoles, partitions, and messages. Vim. This package contains an editor. It was chosen because of its compatibility with the classic VI editor and its huge number of powerful capabilities. An editor is a very personal choice for many users, and any other editor could be substituted if desired. Uh, maybe we'll look at NeoVim. XML Parser. This package is a Perl module that interfaces with XPAT. XZUtils. This package contains programs for compressing and decompressing files. It provides the highest compression generally available and is useful for decompressing packages in XZ or LZMA format. Zlib. This package contains compression and decompression routines used by some programs. ZSTD. This package contains compression and decompression routines used by some programs. It provides high compression ratios and a very wide range of compression speed trade-offs. And in fact, that's all I have time to read. Uh, we'll do the other sections um, in another video, Lord willing.